Hello everyone, welcome to the Green Man channel, hope you're all good and well. So for this evening's album review, I'm reviewing the newest release from White Ward and their album False Light, which came out via Debra Mew Multi Productions just last week on Friday on the 17th of June. The album is eight tracks and one hour, six minutes in length. Um, and this for me is really an experienced type of album. What I mean by that is you have to give it the time of day. You can't just jump in and out of it. It's it's an album also requires multiple listens, I think, to really appreciate some of the more nuanced elements and passages of the album, too. Yeah, it's pretty cinematic. And what it makes me think of quite often is, you know, this is, sounds a little bit like Mayor Cognitum. If Mayor Cognitum were writing music for a film noir or a big, you know, a, you know, a, a kind of really atmospheric style of film. Um, and that's that's what I that's what I was thinking as I was kind of listening to the album at times. It kind of there are parts that really make me think of the sort of melodic black metal style of, of Mayor Cognitum, but there's there's these sort of amazing, really kind of um you know, like I say, atmospheric and um huge soundscapes and you know lots of sort of jazzy moments, a bit of industrial style stuff going on here and there, and certainly a bit of synth and keyboards from time to time, piano moments too. So you get quite a lot thrown into this album, but it's all pulled off uh, extremely effectively, I think, pretty much for its whole duration. Uh, and certainly it's the longer cuts on the album I really enjoyed. You know, sometimes it's longer cuts, which you tend to go off slightly with, with albums like this. But on this one, the longer cuts in this album are actually the standouts. They are really good and that really pays off for the album as a whole. And the shorter cuts, you know, I don't think take away too much from the album. The shorter tracks are a bit more feeling like they're serving the album more than they're taking away from it. So, so the album as a whole is definitely an experienced type of album that does need a bit of attention, but it, it is also, you know, it's, it's a really rewarding listen to. So uh, let's go into some of the tracks on False Light. I liked the opener quite a bit. Pretty awesome build up into this one. Early introduction of that saxophone for the jazzier moments. Um, but what they do pretty quickly is they show you that they can tie in the saxophone well with not just the moodier, spacier moments, but they tie it in brilliantly with heavy moments on this album too. And Leviathan is one of the first examples of that on this album. Uh, Salt Paradise was moody, slow tempo, gentle theme, I thought with some pretty cool, um, you know, saxophone and piano melodies gliding it along but you know not probably one of the big standout tracks on the album um phoenix the third one was um you know started out with a bit of the kind of stranger things like synthy parts at the beginning um a really prominent bass and sort of creeping melody in this piece which i really liked and, and actually there were moments on this track reminds me a little bit of ruins of beverus last album um, just a tad, and I, I, I quite liked that, that, that this was still feeling very much like it belonged to the album, but it was stylistically a little different from the other tracks. Um, now, Silent Circles was fantastic with, fan, you know, it's really cool, it's really cool drum kind of pattern that it had when it was building up each, each kind of moment of the track, which I really loved. Um, and again, this was a, there was, there was actually a moment in this where the, the guitarist paired with the saxophone absolutely it was sublime when there was this like melodic death style guitar riff then the saxophone came in after a, you know a couple of bars of the the mellow death riff it was just oh, brilliant stuff uh, one of my favorite moments probably on the album was that moment in uh, silent circles you had false light on here as well a 15 minute epic which i thoroughly enjoyed thought it pretty much made the 15 minutes pretty pretty great most of the way through there were a couple of minutes at the end where it sort of drifted towards the final track of the album it felt more like it was bridging the gap to the last track on the album which was another more atmospheric style track um but yeah false light was you know some pretty head banging riffs as well uh and still using the saxophone well and and again creating those really effective soundscapes that this album does uh, as I say, extremely effectively. Um, but yeah, it's also an element of um, when they're sort of taking the breaks in the tracks, there's an element of Pink Floyd with what they're doing too. They, they're allowing time uh, to be creative, but they're not wasting the time very much on this album. They're using it, as I say, to serve the purpose of, of the tracks and the overall concepts, I think, of the album, the overall style of the album, instead of trying to, I think, instead of sort of wasting it too much. But I would say the last track maybe was where 
that sort of three, four minute track, although it was again, you know, very moody, but maybe that could have been shaved off a bit. I don't know. But um, as a whole, this is a really excellent experience type of an album, as I say, experience. And this is something you need to just sit down with and not dip in and out of, give it its full length. And you probably will find it, like me, a very rewarding hour and six minutes. So that leaves me with uh, a score to give for this album. Um, and I am pretty confident in how I feel about this album. Um, I think it's really great. I mean, I'm as it is a sort of cinematic style of album, I'm going to judge it on that basis and not on the basis that it's, you know, it, this is the style of the album. And sometimes those sorts of albums, you know, they, they can just feel a bit too um overdrawn and there's not enough within them to keep you engaged with but with this one i think it does the job really well and um, therefore following on from last week's nine out of ten for the annie hamilton album this is another nine out of ten for the white wards uh false light album their third full length release which i think very much deserves it but as i say i'm pretty new to the band uh so i do welcome your comments on their other releases and how this compares with those and of course, what you thought of this album as well. What was your favourite moment on it? What's your favourite track? Do let me know. Otherwise, as always, everybody, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I will say bye for now and uh, join me next time. Take care, everyone.